So I, 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 I don't know if I could Wikipedia. He was kind of hard to find out because there was already, there's already a guy named Thomas Root who's yep. famous for something else. I don't know. You know what's funny is like a lot has changed in this podcast, and we should even set aside a few minutes to just to another game within the game within the game within the game bonus episode because the way we produce episodes of this podcast has changed several times over since we started (laughs) you know you know we could uh we could do this in 2027 yeah but we never we you never hear us on the actual podcast like googling shit like let's wait a minute well just all these questions that we can't answer just go to wikipedia man it's never part of I the could, actual i did podcast. thomas l Root wiki and they didn't, they didn't nothing came up yeah so yeah i mean um i'm sure uh i'm sure that all of our fans will be inundating our email letting us know exactly uh if he's still alive or dead you know what blake I think you're right. They all will. Both both of our fans will follow up on this. I, I let's ask the producer. The producer has <laughs> okay, this is random. So let's go into some TV shows that premiered in 1989. I'm going to run them by you, and you just tell me right off the top of your head your thoughts and feelings. I want to hear 25 words or less about the following. TV shows that premiered in 1989, if you're ready, sir. God help me. Let's have it. Coach, starring Craig T. Nelson. Dauber was the best fucking character on that show. Is that his buddy that was like the assistant coach? The big dumb kid. He does the voice. Yeah. I think he does the voice of Patrick on SpongeBob. Uh, Dauber? Pretty sure. Oh, wow. I mean, if this was the kind of show that... we it's could what you Google learn. it. It's what you learn on History Deletes itself. We could Google it. It's, it's not that kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the Arsenio Hall show. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> Quantum Leap. And a bunch of dogs. Quantum Leap. <laughs> Quantum Leap. Um, I, I remember being a... a Pretty good fan of that show. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, all I can remember is a dude popping in and out of people's beings, and yeah, that's all I got. Tales from the Crypt, <laughs> an ugly guy uh, that liked to laugh a lot. Um, so that that character, I don't know. He was kind of like an Eddie character from the Crypt uh, Kicker. Hey, well, let's the crypt yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to cut him some slack, man. I mean, he's dead. You can't really give him a hard time for being ugly, right? Isn't he a, a zombie or a corpse or something? I think so. I mean, he's a good Halloween character. Or he lives in a crypt. That's just happens to be <laughs> his, the tales come from his home base. How about uh, what do you remember about Saved by the Bell? <laughs> I remember an annoying principal who was probably a pedophile and uh, a a bunch of cute girls and then some dork that uh, went on to become a porn star. That's all I remember. All right. Speaking of porn stars, tell me two things you remember about Baywatch. (laughs) Pamela Anderson and her twins. (laughs) America's Funniest Home Videos. You'll never see History Deletes itself on there, by the way. Okay, w- uh, so that would have been Bob Saget, yeah? I think that's right. Yeah, because they had several several hosts. So I think Bob Saget started it all, um, which, God, that was, that was hot. That show, I remember, I mean, as a family, um, watching repeats of that um, once I had a child. And then, um, and then you know, as, as an adult, remembering Bob Saget, his quote from, um, oh, what was that movie about the stoners? Not Half-Baked. Um, sure. What was it? Eh, anyway. <laughs> The quote that I remember is, 
You ever suck dick for weed? <laughs> but the purest guy in the world, the dad of the kids, <laughs> two yeah. kids <laughs> professing that he sucked dick for cocaine. <laughs> the late great Bob Saget, who's 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 uh, segment in um, the Aristocrats. If you've ever seen that documentary film, his segment in that is fantastic. And the, the Aristocrats, long story short, is basically the name of a legendary joke that is different as told by the comedian. It's different every time it's told. And uh, that uh, I will just say it flat out. You know, it gets the history deletes itself stamp of approval, a film called The Aristocrats. And I think everything that uh, the... Uh, <laughs> The American popular perception of uh, Bob Saget as like a TV dad uh, will be shattered in your mind if you see uh, his segment of The Aristocrats. It's a great, great movie. Have you seen that, Blake? I don't believe so, but um, I can tell you this, with those kind of accolades, I'll be seeing it soon. Well, what do you remember about the Joan Rivers show that debuted in 1989? Tell you what I remember about the Joan Rivers show. I never really cared for Joan Rivers till after she passed away. But I can tell you that I remember that um, her voice annoyed me. And then, furthermore, um, and I didn't know this then, but knowing you know what I know now, is that uh, Johnny Carson was one of those guys that would help you if he wanted to help somebody. He was helping somebody. Yeah. If he felt like you betrayed him, then he turned your system. You, you, were done. you were dead, yeah. Man. Yeah. And that's that's what happened with June Rivers. She uh I guess she was supposed to take over the Tonight Show. And I don't know what happened, but uh, maybe it had to do with the falling out or his excuse me, perception of what's going on. But I just remember it was just another talk show 